weather is nice again today and they're still warning about these heat waves that are coming. It doesn't feel like it again anyways. And what's going on today? Lots of news about war and stuff. This first one actually, first they were saying it was drone attacks but it doesn't sound like it from what I'm reading anyways. Because here it sounds like there was a bridge in Crimea that got attacked by an anti-aircraft missile. This one says it's detected in time and intercepted in air by air defense, no damage or casualties. And you can see there was a bunch of videos online showing, I guess, the explosion of sort. Like in the description here, it says around 1 p.m. Kyiv regime attempted a strike on Crimean bridge using repurposed S-200 anti-aircraft missiles. There are constantly stories lately of Russia and Ukraine using drones against each other, mostly aerial ones. That's why this one was kind of interesting as it dealt more with ground ones. And it seems like they're trying to, I guess, stock up on them and ask for funding according to this. This says Ukraine seeks crowdfunding to buy cockroach drones. While aerial and naval drones have been used to great effect during the war in Ukraine, civic groups and innovators are now turning to ground drones. A team of Ukrainian enthusiasts has developed a new type of low-cost remote-controlled ground vehicle that can be used for military purposes. So you can see all these pictures and videos online. It almost looks like it's an RC toy car per se. And it says here is one such Targan was purchased by the Ukrainian Army Aid Foundation Vivikot. Would you actually be afraid of RC toy cars now? Literally, that's what it looks like in terms of what the person is controlling. But you can see it can carry things like, I guess, heavy payload. And I would imagine people would use it for things like bombing and all that, correct? Are people going to start saying ban all RC toy cars now too? Because that's what people do with recreational drones in many ways, saying you could, quote, put bad stuff on it, weapons and all that, so get rid of them, restrict them. Will they be doing that for RC toy cars now too? Because I guess of things, for example, saying it can be used for military purposes. This kind of shows the point still holds true, doesn't matter if the topic, pretty much anything and everything can be used as a weapon if you really want it to be one. So you have to deal with everything on a case by case basis in my opinion than just broadly saying it quote can be used in this way so you should restrict everyone and all that. And I was reading this today which I thought was kind of interesting. It related to that story of that Sam Bankman Freed who was part of that FTX scandal where it sounded like he was going to I guess walk away free. But this one's a little bit of a twist. This one says U.S. judge revoked Sam Bankman Freed's bail saying FTX founder tampered with witnesses. Prosecutors allege he shared ex-girlfriend's writings with New York Times. FTX founder Sam Bankman fried left the federal courtroom in handcuffs Friday after a judge revoked his bail after concluding that the fallen cryptocurrency whiz had repeatedly tried to influence witnesses against him. Bankman fried looked down at his hands as Judge Louis A. Kaplan explained at length why he believed the California man had repeatedly pushed the boundaries of his $250 million U.S. bail package to a point that Kaplan could no longer ensure the protection of the community, including prosecutors' witness, unless the 31-year-old was behind bars. So that's kind of an interesting allegation, especially the ones where they're saying he was leaking stuff to the media potentially. And it says the judge noted that the strict rule did not stop him from reaching out in January to a top FTX lawyer saying he would really love to reconnect and see if there's a way for us to have a constructive relationship and use each other as resources when possible, or at least vet things with each other. As a February hearing, Kaplan said the communication suggests to me that maybe he has committed or attempted to commit a federal felony while on release. So is this a sign that a proper investigation will be done on him? Or you think this is a situation where again it will be one of those rich people that just know how to get out of it I guess. I guess we'll see.
Alright, see you guys later.